Third unit circle. Uh, what functions am I missing? What functions am I missing? Sec theta, which is short for... What's sec short for? What was tan short for again? It's short for tangent. Sec is short for... Secant. Right, it's a circle word. So what I need you to do now, on your final unit circle... Uh, let's see. That's not very circular, that bit. Let's just erase it. On your final unit circle, I want you to redraw what we have on this diagram with one difference. See how here I've got the, the blue and the red bits because I'm highlighting that's what tan is, that's what cot is. Okay? This time I want you to draw everything that's on this diagram except, see this line here, just draw it in black because it won't be the focus on this last diagram. Okay? We're going to add some other things onto it. So I still need my, my axes, like so. I'm going to draw my tangent in. Okay. Alright. So, we're still on the unit circle. Yeah? We're still on the unit circle. But now we're going to get where sec and cosec come from. And I wonder if by going through this process, you're starting to have some guesses as to where it might be. Okay? Here's the first thing I'm going to note. Uh, when we were doing this construction over here, we noticed that if theta is here, it also ends up over here. It has to be because of this pair of right angled triangles that you've got. In fact, you've also got similar triangles happening. Okay? So I'm going to add in theta. This is the one by definition measured from the x axis positive side upwards, anti clockwise. Then I'm going to replace this theta over here, that one over there. Okay. okay. Now, help me out here. Help me out here. I wonder if you can work out in this triangle, right, or in this set of triangles, can you work out what this length over here is? That vertical length. How would you go about finding it? Hmm. Think for a second. Think for a second. Alternatively, this length over here on this bottom triangle, this big one, how would you go about working out what that length was? Ah, so there are a lot of somethings over something. There's a lot of ways I can approach this. There's so many different things. Okay, it's it's a question of where am I going to go first? What are you reckoning? Uh, are we allowed to do like a bit of addition? Say that again. Are we allowed to do addition? Addition of what? Like if you were to split that triangle into two nice right angle triangles. Yes, you can you can do any splitting you like. However, I will point out, even though like you can see, I split this triangle in order to do some stuff here. But you can work out these lengths that I've just mentioned without any splitting at all. Let me help you. Let's have a look at uh, this guy down the bottom here. Okay. So I'm just going to put a question mark on this length from the origin all the way over. Come on. So a pencil case. What did it look like? What did it look like? Black. Anyone see a random pencil case? Yeah. I'll see you at lunchtime. Yeah. Um, have a look. I'm going to approach this in a very similar way to how I approach these guys. Two of these. Okay. So see in this triangle, this big one down the bottom, I know an angle over here, and then there's two sides here that are related to this angle. Don't forget, like we noticed before, the tangent and the radius are perpendicular, so it's right angle. So if I have a look at these two sides, what are they in relation to this theta? Have a look. Isn't this guy over here adjacent? That's adjacent, isn't it? And this one is opposite the right angle, so that makes it the hypotenuse, right? 
So therefore, I could write in that triangle that cos theta, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, isn't it? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So just like I did over here, I'm just going to take reciprocals of both sides. What's the reciprocal of cos again? It's sec. We just defined it as that. But do you see why it is? This side down here. <laughs> that is sec because it's not a tangent. It doesn't just touch the circle. It cuts straight through the circle. That's what a section is. That's what a secant does. It cuts straight through, right? Like an intersection, it's two things that cut across each other. Like a, um, if there's a pregnant woman giving birth and she has a C-section, it's a cut across to be able to deliver the baby. The secant divides across, right? So that's, that's sec theta. And what I want you to notice, just like sine was opposite, opposite theta, and this tan was opposite theta, sec is also opposite theta. Do you see it? So now can you tell me where cosec will be? Hmm. Which triangle do I need to put the complement of theta in? Where do I put it? Um, in, in the big triangle. But in the big triangle? Yeah. Down here? Yeah, I reckon so. That's the complement of theta, isn't it? It must be, because there's theta, there's 90, so that must be the complement, which makes cosec, cosecant, opposite this guy, all the way over here. Do you see it? Because it has to be opposite the complement, right? So this guy over here is cosec theta, okay? 